All right, brother, in this video, I'm going to talk about the brutal truths that keep most men from actualizing their best self or making any transformational changes in their life. And I'll give you a hint. It's delusion. And trust me on this because I've dealt with thousands of men as a transformational coach, and I've helped thousands of men transform themselves and have absolute on fire life. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the six main delusions that men have. And if you skip around in this video at all, you're just deluding yourself into thinking that you can shortcut the process. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betray the Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. So what is delusion? Delusion is not willing to look at the truth. It's really what it comes down to. Most guys aren't willing to look at the truth. In fact, most guys aren't even trying to look at the truth. They're just lying all the time. They don't even want to look at how much they're lying. So the first step, if you want to have transformational change in your life, is stop lying. It's real simple. Lying is what puts you in this position where you're watching this video, most likely. Something in your life went awry. And so looking at your life now, where are you not telling the truth? We break it down real easy into four categories. Where are you lying about in your body? Where are you lying about in your relationship with God and in yourself and in the way that you treat yourself? And where are you lying in your relationship or your relationship with your children, in your business? If you look at the areas of your life, where are you lying? Where are you trying to hide from other people? What are the things you're embarrassed about? What are the things that you are worried about being exposed for? This is the things that need cleanup. Because until you're willing to tell the truth of where you're at today, you're never gonna change to something else in the future. As an engineer, you gotta start with the baseline that you measure from. And then, once you go do some actions, you'll see if there's a change or not. And then you can measure the delta between where you were at and where you're going, right? If, for instance, if you take weight, for example, you weighed this much today, you're gonna to weigh a certain amount tomorrow, or one week, or a month from now. The numbers don't lie, so by the fruit, you shall know your actions. Look at the fruit of the measurement from where you're at. And you can only do that by looking at the numbers, right? And then this way, we root out the lies. We root out the perception of what you think you were doing. There's so many people that go out there and they say, yeah, I've lost a lot of weight. I've been trying. I've been trying to do this thing. But then you go look at the scale and they haven't done anything. And so we have to be truthful about where we're at today. You look at your children. Like, what relationship do you have with them? Or your wife. What's your relationship look like with your wife? Tell the truth about it. Don't delude yourself into it. Most men run into a divorce because they're deluding themselves and lying about the fact that their marriage has been shit for years. And they keep landing on this place, this false lift of, eh, it's not that bad. A, it's not that bad is the biggest determinator for you not moving forward in your life because it keeps you stuck. Because if it's not that bad, why change? And so you have to look at it. Is it not that bad or do you need to actually change? And if you're telling the truth, you'll probably look at it you actually need to change. Brutal truth number two. Nobody cares about your excuses. In fact, every time you make an excuse, you want somebody to give you a pass. Like if this person gives you a pass, it must be okay for you to give yourself a pass. If you're in this place of actually telling the truth of where you're at and what you've been doing, then you can't have any excuses. I can't tell you the number of guys that sit in this studio and they'll say, Ed, I, I just, I don't have time. I'm like, dude, you have plenty of time. You just don't care enough. It's just not that important to you. Just tell the truth about what it is. You don't need to lie to me. It's almost as if they're looking for me to give them permission to keep doing the dumb shit that they're doing. It's like, that's crazy. Why would you ask me for permission for anything? If you're your own man, you're sovereign to yourself, then why don't you just take responsibility and just say, this is where I decided to spend my time. Well, I couldn't make myself do it. It was a lot easier to watch TV and eat potato chips. It's like, okay, cool. Then that's what you decided to do. You decided to go watch TV and eat potato chips, so don't tell me you didn't have time to go work out. Don't tell me you didn't have time to go spend time with your children. Don't tell me that you didn't have time to go actually have that collision with your wife. And don't tell me that you didn't have time to start that Amazon affiliate business. You could have done it. You just spent six hours doing dumb shit. Most guys don't want to hear these hard truths that what they do, what they are at today is a complete fruit of the actions they've taken before. Everything is this choice that they've been making their entire life, including their personality and the way they operate. Your brain is just a computer, but it has emotions tied to it. And those emotions are what tells the computer what to do. But the thing is, is you can override those emotions and you can program your computer to do anything you want. But the thing is, it works on habit. So if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, you program it to keep doing that same dumb shit. So every time you come home and you crack a beer, eat potato chips and watch TV, then that's what you're telling your brain that that's what you should do. And so then you get complacent in this space and you're like, well, it's too hard to do. It's like, no, you just don't want to take responsibility. So again, nobody cares about your excuses. Hard truth number three. 
You're not as special as you think you are. You keep thinking, oh, I'm just big boned. No, you're not. You got a normal skeleton. You just don't want to work on it. Oh, you know, I, I just don't have the ability to speak in public. Bullshit. Look at me. I'm over here speaking to you on YouTube, exposing myself every day. I can do it because I decided to step through the fear. And so can you. You think that your circumstance is special. I have guys coming to my program every day. He's like, Ed, my situation is different. I'm going to explain. And then he goes through this 15 minute diatribe of how his situation is exactly like the other 3,500 guys that come through the program. Everybody thinks that they are special, that their situation is unique, but it's not. You're not fucking special, dude. You're just like everybody else, but that's a good thing. Because if you're just like everybody else, then what works for everybody else will work for you. So stop thinking that you're so special and being a victim about it. Oh, I can't do it because I'm special. I got this thing going on with my knee and I got this other. No, dude, you just don't want to do it. And now you're looking for all kinds of excuses to not do it. And then you tell me about those excuses, hoping that I'll believe you and give you permission to keep operating the same way you've been operating. Guys tell me every fucking day what you've written in this video, what you've said in this video, it's like you've been in my living room. Yeah, because women operate the same, just like men operate the same. And I'm the same too. I'm the same as you. We all do the same shit. We're humans. We're just a bunch of hairless monkeys trying to work this out. But the cool thing is we have figured some shit out. Which leads to brutal truth number four. Life isn't fair. But you still got to play it. We've all been dealt different hands, but at that point, we can take it from there. We can do whatever we want. We have the agency to do whatever the fuck we want, especially here in the U.S. You can do whatever you want. You can't blame your government. You can't blame society. You can't blame your church. You can't blame your wife. You can't blame your children, your business, your boss. It's all you. Like, you're a result of all the actions that you've taken. And so, yeah, life isn't fair. You're not going to have all the things that other people have. But the cool thing is, is that you can change that. There isn't a guarantee of outcome here, but there is a guarantee of opportunity here in the U.S. And so as long as you have this guarantee of opportunity, this guarantee that you can at least be in an open position to go change your life, you're open to do so. And you should. Your soul is calling you to do this all the time. And so most guys are like, well, it's just not for me. I'm just going to sit here. And they just ignore this. They ignore it. And they live this life of quiet desperation. If they listen to that, calling in their heart that they're better, that they can do more, that they deserve more, and that God wants them to be more, we'd have a whole lot more cool shit going on in the world. But most of the people in this world, and hopefully you're not this guy too, they just sit in this place of just complacency and like, well, I just want to live for the next entertainment, and I just want to make just enough money to get by, and I don't really want to work for things because I hate everything that I'm doing, and I don't really like the stuff that I'm doing, so I try to sedate myself by just doing all this entertainment stuff because my life sucks and jobs suck and they do suck but life doesn't have to suck because you can build it however you want and so yeah life isn't fair but that's actually a good thing for you because you can tilt the game in your favor by playing the game and playing it well and playing it better than everybody else why because most people aren't willing to play the game they just want to be sedated so because of that it makes it really easy for you to outshine them which leads to brutal truth five you're going to fail and you're going to fail a lot. In fact, most of what you do is going to fail. If you go play any game, most of the time you're going to lose. Most of the time you're going to lose. In any game or anything you try to do, you're going to lose a lot. So you have to get good at learning how to fail. But failing is what teaches you also to get better. Failing is part of the process. Failing is what makes you win later on. You don't want to fail again, so you learn to get better. And you get better, and you get better, and you get better, and you get better. And eventually you start winning. And if you fail enough, you'll win a lot. But most people are not willing to fail. They're so afraid that if they're a failure, then this, for some reason, this one task that they're doing, this one thing, this one venture that they're doing is somehow tied to who they are, their value as a person. So they don't move forward at all because they don't want to be less than. They don't want people to judge them. They get caught up in this, this whole dynamic in their mind of being a failure. Oh, I'm a failure. Nobody's going to love me. I just, I'm worthless. And that's bullshit. It's not how it works. Just because you do this action and it doesn't work means you're not good at that action. It means nothing to do with the value of you as a person. And so you have to step through that fear, that resistance, and go through the failure. The only reason that I can do anything at all is because I've been willing to step through the failure over and over and over and over again, whereas most people, they don't even try one time. So the amount of times that I have tried and failed, most people can't even fathom. They haven't even thought about trying that many times because they haven't tried one time, but they tried one time and they gave up. And so you have to get good at be being able to deal with failure over and over and over again. In fact, you have to have an indomitable spirit when it comes to failure and be like, I'm going to win no matter what. Eventually, I'm going to fucking win. Sometimes it's going to take you years. Sometimes you're going to fail for fucking years. But 
If you're willing to stick with it, and you're willing to keep learning and learning and learning and improving, then eventually you'll start winning really fucking big. Brutal truth number six. Nobody is coming to save you. You are in this game alone. You are going to die alone in your own mind. You have to save yourself. You have to be fully present for your own salvation. The only person who can save you in heaven is Jesus. But we're not talking about Jesus. We're talking about you here in this three-dimensional material plane. And in this place, nobody's coming to save you. You have to be fully present, again, for your own salvation. You are the one. You are the hero of this story. Not me, not anybody else. It's you. You are the one. If you don't do it, it's not going to happen. Nobody's just going to give it to you. And nor should they, because that would rob you of the experience of your eternal expansion and learning to do and be and become more, to become better. Nobody wants to do that for you because they're busy with their own eternal expansion. They're busy with their own problems. But you, as a called individual, know that you could do more. And you're going to do more. And I have faith that you will. Why? Because you've got no other choice. Because what's the other choice? Do nothing? Live a life of mediocrity? Live a life of just failure? Where you're just not proud of yourself? Where you're just like... See, even if I try my entire life and I fail, at least I can go out knowing that I tried. But what would be worse is having that regret of being like, well, I was just too afraid to even try. And so I got nothing. I didn't even play the game. I just, I just sedated by watching TV and eating potato chips and playing video games and porn and all this other bullshit. Or you can get in the arena and fail valiantly. Most men that come to genuine attraction are dealing with a betrayal situation. Their wife is cheating on them. That's most of the guys that come into this situation, and most of them are dealing with some sort of narcissism. Um, we're not really in the place of trying to save marriages, but we save the guy. Well, I don't save them. They take responsibility. They learn these hard truths just like you're learning them here, and they take action, and it hurts. When you first hear these things, it's a blow, and it shakes you up, and you start reevaluating how you've been operating in your entire life. But the cool thing is, is that's where transformation comes from. When you can see the truth of where you're at and where you're going, and you stop lying to yourself, and you see that nobody's gonna save you, but there are a few people who are reaching out their hand, like I reach my hand out to you now, and say, hey man, I know the path. It's not gonna be that hard. We've done it before. Most people are the same, most men are the same, most women are the same, and it's a repeatable process, and we can help you through it. So if you're in that situation, go to brokenabadass.com. But if you're not in that situation, you like this video, and want to learn more about how you can employ some habits about becoming your best self, watch this video over here. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to be notified for more. And I'll see you in the next one.